Good morning. This is Patrick Duff, the injury lawyer, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about workplace exposure to COVID-19. Uh, standard disclaimer, this is not legal advice. If you need uh, assistance on a legal matter, you should uh, call and retain a qualified attorney. Uh, you can call my firm. You can call another firm. Uh, but if you need help, reach out. Uh, so today we're talking about COVID-19. What else? I know we're all sick of hearing about it. Um, but I have been seeing uh, lots of questions come in about uh, COVID in the workplace. Um, do I have to go into the office? What happens if I'm exposed at work? Uh, what sort of safety measures does my employer have to take? Can I get unemployment if I'm afraid to go in and refuse to? Um, there are executive orders, and there's a plethora of them, that have come down, um, and it seems like they change week to week. But they cover a lot of those issues, and so if you need legal help on one of those issues, call an attorney, uh, because it's hard to keep track of these things, it's hard to sort them out, uh, but there are lots of executive orders that have been issued that covered those sorts of things. What I'm more interested in talking about today is um, sort of the long-term or major impact of workplace exposure to COVID. Uh, specifically, what happens when somebody gets really sick from COVID or has long-term chronic issues from COVID or passes away from COVID and we know that the exposure happened in the workplace? Well, under Michigan law, the Michigan Workers Disability Compensation Act provides coverage for that. There's a section of the act that provides coverage for um, disabilities, death, medical coverage for occupational diseases. And if you're exposed at work, that's an occupational disease. The problem that we have is how does somebody who gets sick at work prove that they caught it at work? I mean, we're in the middle of a nationwide pandemic right now. It's going to be very easy for any insurance carrier or employer to say, hey, we don't know where this person caught it, but they could have caught it anywhere. And so we're going to wash our hands of it. Uh, we don't have to cover it. So the burden is on the sick party, the claimant, the employer, employee, uh, the, the sick worker. It's the, the burden is on them to prove that they caught it at work. So how do you do that? Well, it's going to differ from case to case. If you've got evidence that a coworker uh, had COVID and you were in the office or the workplace or the job site the same time that they were, and that's been documented, then you're well on your way. If, on the other hand, there's a bunch of Facebook pictures floating around or Instagram photos floating around of you going out to bars and restaurants and hanging out on the patio and not wearing a mask, well, that's going to cut the other way. And it's going to be very easy for somebody to claim that you didn't get it there. But just like any personal injury or occupational disease claim, it's really going to boil down to what's in your medical records. Those are always the biggest pieces of evidence that we rely upon as attorneys when trying to prove or disprove any of these claims. So what are you telling your doctor um, or what, if you lost a loved one, unfortunately, what were they telling their doctor when they went in? Did they mention that, yeah, I've been going into work and, um, you know, the safety pro protocols haven't been followed and I'm worried that I caught it there. If that ends up in the medical records, that's very helpful. And then if you end up claiming a long-term chronic health issue, as a result of COVID exposure, because we are seeing people that are developing long-term chronic health issues as a result of this. Are you following with your primary doctor um, on, a, on a weekly or monthly basis for this issue? And do those records indicate that this chronic condition was related to COVID, which may have been uh, related to a workplace exposure to COVID? Because those sorts of chronic conditions might not be disabling today, but three to five years from now, if they get worse, they could be. Uh, and tying those things together is going to really uh, be impossible if you don't have a paper trail. And the paper trail is always in the medical records. So my voice, uh, excuse me, my advice to all my clients is always, always, always be forthright with your doctor. Tell them more information rather than less. They write more down than you think. And those records are often what makes or breaks your case. So that's the lesson for today. 
uh, hopefully nobody watching this ends up getting workplace uh, COVID exposure or COVID otherwise. Uh, stay safe out there, wear a mask, protect yourself, protect others. Uh, but if you do need help, call me or another qualified attorney. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to help. All right. Take care, everybody.